So we just got done driving a 2009 GTR and a 2015 GTR, both of which absolutely incredible vehicles. Very fast. Very, very quick. Yeah. Had a couple thousand dollars in mods each. We are now driving about the extent of what a GTR is capable. This is a fully built car, fully built motor, transmission, larger turbos, aftermarket fuel system. This car can run E98, which is a fuel I hadn't even heard of prior to being introduced to this, to this car. This is the big leagues in terms of GTRs. About 1600 crank horsepower, yes. 1300 plus at the wheels. The car is capable of running low to mid eight seconds in the quarter mile. It does 60 to 130 and three seconds. Three seconds, 60 to 130. That's like three seconds is a nut zero to 60 yeah. time. 60, 60 to 130. Oh my God. Unbelievable how quick this car is. Eddie hasn't experienced yet. I'm gonna flip around, do a full throttle run. I've never experienced anything like this car. I've been in two Veyrons. Those GTRs were up there with some of the fastest cars, Turbo S. This is like so quick that you almost, I swear to God, you feel like you're not in real life. Like you just, all you focus on is, oh my God, don't die. This car is capable of spinning all four tires at 70 plus miles an hour, which is insane for an all wheel drive car that has freaking drag tires drag on the back. back. It's got Neato NTO fives and still can break all four wheels loose. So okay, we're gonna so do uh, acceleration pull in third gear. It takes a little bit for the boost to kick in, uh, but second and first is too squirrely for me. So wait for the boost and watch this. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's fast. <laughs> That's very fast. <laughs> Woo. Absolutely the fastest car I've ever been in or driven. I mean, it just, Oh my god. Pretty freaking intense. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. And that's third gear. So I, I can't imagine what for I guess I guess we probably gotta try. The owner said it's a little squirrely in second, so we'll be a little cautious. So it has an ETS 35R turbo kit and it's driven by AccuTech, which has a very cool feature. It's like a rolling launch feature. So it allows you to build boost even while you're moving, and then it, you launch it as if you're from a stance of what you're, let's just say you're already doing 70 miles an hour. And I haven't felt it yet, but I'm assuming it's probably absolutely insane. It sounds utterly ridiculous. This car, it's built to race, obviously. The surprising thing is, I'm just driving it comfortably right now it's in third normal. gear. It feels like a normal car. It's a little bit touchier than, um, the other GTRs that I just drove, but that's easy to fix and tuning if that yeah. bugs you. Um, Fully built transmission capable of over 1,200 pound-feet of torque, so nothing gonna go wrong there. Not the wood, but uh, it should be fine. Um, but, so um, the owner of this car, Mike Harden, he said that after the full bolt-on level, which is uh, the 2009 we drove, it, it was a full bolt-on car, custom exhaust, after about 650 wheel horsepower plus, that's when you have to beef up the transmission because okay. otherwise you're going to start yeah. breaking some stuff. Um, boost logic intake looks absolutely mean. This car is a showstopper when you pop the hood. It doesn't even look like a GTR anymore, basically, in the front. But the cool thing is, this car looks almost entirely stock, yeah. uh, despite the uh, titanium tips in the back. And it's got 18-inch rims, uh, wheels instead of 20-inch, which uh, the larger profile tires actually help with, with racing. Um, but other than that, I love that it pretty much looks stock. Joe Sitto at SMS Motorsports maintains this car. So uh, good work there. Mike actually put together the mods list himself. This is a complete one-off car, 
nothing Long has down. exactly the the mod list. This isn't a, a off the shelf AMS 12, anything like that. Which obviously I, I said that in in like a, oh that's not a cool thing. <laughs> <laughs> I rode in. Um, it was also another one off. It was somewhere between an Alpha 10, Alpha 12 car, and it was stupid how how fast it was. But. Uh, I mean, I didn't get to drive that one, but this one has got to give it a run for its money. Second gear pull. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> so there you go. That's got to be one of the best days of my life car wise. We drove three different GTRs. Full bolt on 2009, E85 conversion 2015, and 1600 the most horsepower. <laughs> freaking ridiculous, fully built 1600 horsepower GTR. Damn, that is sick. Damn. Hope you enjoyed this video. This probably was one of the most fun videos I've ever made. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at vehicle underscore virgins. Please subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next video.